Hello, Chatterboxes. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am Chit Chat, and welcome once again to another drawing video here on the channel. Super excited to continue this drawing spree that I've been on, and I'm gonna do my absolute darn best to maintain this momentum because darn it, I want to draw more and I want to get better because uh, I know I've gotten a bit rusty uh, between my time drawing, and it, it is a little disappointing. I have to say, like I. I, uh, I definitely need to uh, stop going uh, through these long sprees of not drawing anything. Um, like, I, I do drawings at my day job, but it's all like kind of technical stuff and like very iconography driven. Um, so definitely not like character based drawing or animation or anything like that. But uh, uh, so like I promised, we're going to be doing another character uh, from Planet Coaster. And it is the Fox mascot that represents the Street Fox coffee brand. Um, and she's an adorable character. Like, I absolutely love this character. It was really, uh, it was a hard choice between which one I wanted to do first, between the Gulpy T-Rex and the Street Fox Coffee Fox, because both of the characters, like, I love their designs in their own unique ways, um, and the idea of, like, this hipster, fox, barista, coffee lover, I don't know, it just, like, it really, it, like, it, I just thought it was fantastic, and, uh, Caitlin, if you're watching this, I apologize. This character reminds me of you so much. Uh, if you've never checked out my friend Caitlin's channel, um, we've done a bunch of collab videos in the past. In fact, we are working on one, hopefully in the near future, uh, that is going to be pretty darn entertaining. Uh, let me tell you what. So, Caitlin, I hope you don't mind me spilling the beans beforehand, but um, it sort of relates to this video because... Uh, this character is an anthropomorphic animal character, um, and I was a huge Sonic fan back in the day. I, I would still say I am a Sonic fan, but like, I have not played like hardly any of the new games that have come out. Like, I stopped playing Sonic games. Oh gosh, what was the last one I played? Ooh, I want to say like Sonic Four episodes one and two were probably the last ones that I played. Um, and then, yeah, I, I, that, I'm pretty sure that was the last ones, but I used to be like a huge Sonic fan uh, ever since Sonic 2 on the Sega Genesis being the very first game I ever played. And like many people that have a fandom, of course you have to draw your own OC in that fandom. So yes, I have a Sonic OC, and uh, I was also a fan of Dragon Ball Z, like that was probably one of my favorite animes at the time. And uh, Caitlyn is also a fan of Dragon Ball Z, and she has a Dragon Ball Z OC. So our next collab video is going to be us redrawing our OCs. And it's going to be funny. I actually was able to find my original Sonic OC on DeviantArt. <laughs> I completely forgot I still had that account. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought I deleted this. And I'm glad I didn't because, uh, oh my gosh, it was a treasure trove of like a blast from the past. Like I had stuff from my high school days on there. And I'm like, man, I have come such a long way since then. And that, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. It really is. Like even now you know, watching these art videos, um, you know, after I've already created them, which is still very interesting for me to do, uh, provided the voiceover for things that I've done in the past. I'm still much more used to reactionary based content, but hopefully, I, hopefully I'm getting better. I feel like I'm getting better, but I know I could still get better. I think I said better way too much. That was like a triple better combo, a triple quadruple backflip better combo. <laughs> but, um, it's still interesting. Uh, like looking at this, I see things that I could have done better. Um, and maybe things that I'll go back and add in the future before I uh, send this to print because uh, I am going to do like a limited amount of these. Uh, my goal is to eventually when I reach a certain amount on Patreon to um, have some of the things that I've drawn on here as rewards because I think that'd be really fun. Um, and uh, another reason to check out my Patreon, which if you haven't, it, the link is down in the description below. But I would like to offer more things in there and uh, the, some of this artwork would be would be fun and uh, I would also maybe um, provide some of the Photoshop files that I use in the future so people can kind of check out my process I don't know like I'm still playing around with ideas um, I would also like to incorporate voiceover somehow in that 
um, maybe record like personal messages as characters. I don't know. There's a lot of ideas that I have in my head and uh, I just need to find ways to implement them, especially on like my, my crazy schedule because work and other commitments outside of work definitely eat up a lot of my time and uh and not not in a bad way um especially right now with uh miko my chinchilla still recovering from her surgery and i have to keep a, a watchful eye on her and uh unfortunately looking for places to live also eats up a lot of time um going to be moving out of this apartment and hopefully into a bigger one so i can have a bigger recording space because uh, i would like to have uh, more room to record and uh, yeah, so that there there are things that eat my time, but I definitely uh, I still am doing my best to keep up with the demands of the YouTube because I know a lot of you want me to produce more content, and uh, I definitely appreciate that. I've been getting a lot of a lot of great feedback lately, um, and the the number of chatter boxes has grown substantially um, uh, over the over just the past few days. So I'm definitely really grateful and. Hopefully you all like the art content. I know it's not Planet Coaster, but like I said in many, many videos, like Planet Coaster cannot and will not be the one thing that I do. Like it's, it's not my passion. It's my escape, you know? So there's, there's, there, there is a difference. Like I, I do like just coming home and playing, playing a game where I don't have to put in a lot of thought, you know, beforehand, like for the Planet Coaster stuff, I kind of have the idea already laid out, um, before I even start the park. And um, with artwork, uh, with artwork and voiceovers, like I have to be so incredibly engaged the entire time, and and I, it, it's hard for my mind just to wander. So it doesn't necessarily feel like a break, even though it's stuff that I love to do. So that's that's really why the Planet Coaster stuff exists. And I'm pretty sure I've said this plenty of times in the past, but you know, I, I have to find I have to find the balance between doing the things that I love and doing things that make me feel good, if that makes sense. Like art and, and animation and voiceovers, like they make me feel good, but like I can't just chillax and do it. You know what I mean? So uh, again, for for this uh, piece, I decided to do it completely inside of Photoshop, which again isn't something that I normally do. Um, I like to take my line work and send it over to Flash Slash Animate and do the line work inside of there because like I said in the uh, previous art video that I did um, I like to have clean artwork because not only does it make it easier to lay the flats down which the flats I'm referring to the flat colors without any shading um, and I can blow it up to whatever size I want to so if I wanted it on like a billboard it wouldn't be a problem because I it's it's vector based um, so if you don't know the difference between rasterized and vectorized um, vector is basically calculated so every time you move it and you expand it out, it's actually being recalculated. Whereas uh, rasterized uh, artwork is basically if you were to blow it up or if you were to manipulate it, it would start to degrade. You would start seeing pixelization or you would start seeing edge blurring and stuff like that. So um, and when you work at uh, normally I work at like 300 DPI. So especially for print, you kind of want to stick at a higher resolution and a higher DPI. Um, so that, uh, especially like I've got friends who do really technical drawings, um, of like, uh, mechanical characters and they work at a, like a 600 DPI uh, resolution so that if their line work is a little bit shaky, when it goes, uh, when it gets shrunken down for print, which is at 72 DPI, um, the line work look, looks pristine because they, they had it at such a huge size to begin with. Um, but you need like the computer that can, that can handle that resolution. Cause woo, um, I have a funny, uh, a funny story for one of my friends who does, uh, do artwork at that resolution. Uh, they took it to their printer and forgot to, uh, compress it down to 72 and it like straight up almost blew up that guy's machine. Cause it could not handle 600 DPI. Like it couldn't even open up the PDF cause it was such a huge file. I'm actually impressed that it managed to get on like a pretty, a pretty reasonably small jump drive. So yeah, it was, that was, that was definitely interesting. So uh, that's going to wind things down for this video. Again, I hope you like this art content. If you do, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already a Chatterbox. And as always, I will chat with you later.